Okay, hi, my name is Derek, and I am the creator of nichesitehelp.com. I'm just starting this website, so this is going to be our first tutorial as well as video podcast. I hope that I have the time to keep these updated and keep going at it. I know a little bit about websites. Um, sorry, I know a little bit about niche websites. I just kind of got into them. There's a few that I've built and I'm working on, and I do receive uh, um, some income from those. You know, I'm not a multi-millionaire by any means, but uh, you know they do generate some income. I've seen some month, some months where I've made anywhere from fifty to sixty bucks to uh, nothing. Some, so it all depends on uh, um, what all you do as long, what all you do as well as build the site and what you do with it. So down here, I will show you the main site that I like to use for building niche sites which is that's obviously where I found out how to do this at right uh, here this is the site this is the theme that I use for my WordPress site um, to build nichesitehelp.com um, it is a theme called Weaver and it is by far the best theme for WordPress sites uh, I have ever seen. Um, it's free. They do have a pro version you can upgrade to. I, don't, I think it's like only $25 or so. But um, this is obviously, you know, I just started building this. So this is the first page. I worked on this today for a couple hours. But basically, the way this site works, or the way this theme works, is it has your basic layout. Um, you can change the background. You know, you can change all this. Um, and then it gives you spaces uh, above on and below the header like right here this, these are two separate images as you can see if I pull them aside here these are two separate images um, this isn't a header image what happened was within Weaver I was able to get rid of the header image altogether which would be somewhere in through here and it took it out um, which fills in that space automatically then above this I just coded with some HTML um, a little simple table with two columns and added these images in. Um, then within Weaver you can change the color and background all through CSS. Um, I'll show you exactly how it works um, but I'll give you the layout here first. Um, and then you can add this search bar on here or you can take it off if you want to if you want to put it down here with your widgets. Um, basically this all stays the same. There are things that you can change within this your page here like that shouldn't be red I should need to change that color but um, you can change the color of all your hovers your your links your um, and this is all HTML coded into just inside a text widget uh, this is just a little plugin that I found that shows your most recent posts uh, the categories will go here I don't have any categories listed right now then at the bottom there is a footer section um, and I was able to within that, within the Weaver theme, uh, one click button to remove the footer and then I did the same thing that I did up here except instead of clicking, there's a division right that runs right up through here and right here and when you get inside the theme you can take that off and it will expand your uh, your top here all the way to the sides but right now there's a little invisible line here and little invisible line here from where that is inside a division which the same thing takes place down here at the bottom but what I did was is I clicked that little button which got rid of this division down here and then I coded in a uh, temp a uh, table just like I did up here but I did it down here and then instead of making this um, like 940 wide I made this 100% and then added another table in the middle that I made 940 wide. And that's all that is right there. And then this is all just simple, you know, old school HTML coding links. Um, so let's take a look at the theme and I'll show you how it works. So if we go up in here to our dashboard. And then go to your appearance and then Weaver Admin right here. Actually first let me show you what the theme looks like when you go to download it. It's available within 
WordPress. Um, so you can just go to your themes and then go to install themes and type Weaver. And this is the basic one right here that it, it that it, that it comes with. There are some sub um, some sub themes that come along with it. I've never really messed with it too much. There's actually a Weaver 2 out now. I haven't upgraded this one to that yet. But uh, I think right here it says Weaver 2. Um, it has some iPhone type um, formatting in it that sets it up for an iPhone or mobile device. Um, anyway, this is what the theme looks like right here. Uh, you see all the colors here. This is where the header is. This is where the title is, but with one click, you can take that title right out. Uh, you can change the colors. You can these little round, this rounded corner here and a rounded corner here. You can't really see it too well, but they are rounded. Uh, you can one click, one click. You can take that out as well. So once you install that, you'll have this little Weaver admin right here. You go to Weaver admin, and this is where it all happens. All right, we'll start up here at the top. This is the Weaver themes. These are some pre-built themes. These are all the same theme. It just basically has a little bit of a different layout to it. Um, a lot of these are kind of the same. You got header, menu, content, sidebar, header, menu, content, sidebar, header, menu, content, sidebar. Um, so you can pick any one of these. I started off with wheat just because I'm lazy and don't want to change it, I guess. Um, this one down here, we can start with that one too. That one looks a little more like what mine is for the nichesitehelp.com. But if you go to wheat right here, it's just selected up here, um, and then you will set that as your sub theme, which is what I have. So let's go to the main options, and we'll go to general appearance. You got your wrapper page. Actually, you know what? Let me shrink this to half so I can show you what I'm talking about here. Let's see. What do I? Let's go to this one, and then show you what the actual page is, and we'll pull this out. Let's see. Where's my Weaver? There's Weaver. There's this. Okay. So, this wrapper is the space around all of your sides here. And you can set that with regular, you know, type in. So you can type in, um, let's say we want to make it red. And then, um, if you want to add additional CSS, you can add it in right here. I'll show you that in just a minute, though. But let's say we want to add it red. You save that. And then when we go back to our theme, check it out over here. We'll refresh this and see. Well, it all turns red. But we don't want it to be red. So we're going to change that back to transparent. Okay. Now, we're going to refresh this. And you'll see that it will change back to transparent, which will show the background. The background is set over here. You can just set it with norm with by normal. Um, you can come in here and main background. Uh, this is your page, your the content part of the page, which would be this right here, all that right there. Um, your container background is there's some space that goes all the way around this right here, and that is what I've set up to be white as well. Your theme width, you can make it as wide as you want. Um, theme margin. Uh,